A lot of people in the Middle Tennessee area uh, has some of those big stories. We found out some of them to be true, some of them to be false, and of course that's what we're trying to investigate right here on Community Insider Tall Tales. We have with us Mr. Mann, who is the owner and operator of the Paranormal Tours. It's Haunt Seekers United Nation LLC. All right, so this is where we get most of the activity on the property, right here on this bridge, and I'm gonna take you guys back there though, so keep going. So we're gonna use the equipment. Trooper Melton, are you here right now? If so, please cross the runs. The rumor got around that she had cast a spell on all the men, and the stories reached such a fever pitch that a mob grabbed her and buried her alive here. And, but in looking at the records, there's always, like I said, there's always some basis of truth in every legend. I've been running with that ever since. I've had my name legally changed uh, a couple of years back because keeping a secret identity is really hard. And now I can uh, exist on paper, so to speak. I, I lived like a hermit for a long time and didn't really have bank account or credit cards or anything like that because I was hiding a secret identity and now I don't have to. Things that I've learned that, that the Bell Witch is supposed to have done since writing the cantata is that she comes into the house late at night and plays the piano and so anyone looking would see the piano playing by itself because you wouldn't be able to see her of course.